Are you an aspiring developer looking to dive into the world of web development with Blazor? This comprehensive guide will walk you through the steps to become a proficient NetBlazor developer in 2023. By following this roadmap, you'll gain a strong foundation in Blazor development, learn essential skills, and be well-equipped to build interactive and dynamic web applications. So, let's get started. Introduction Blazor is a modern web framework developed by Microsoft that enables developers to build interactive web applications using C Sharp and .NET. It combines the power of .NET with the flexibility of web development to create high-performance web applications. Blazor allows developers to write code in C Sharp and leverage their existing skills and knowledge of the .NET ecosystem. It utilizes a component-based architecture and supports server-side rendering as well as client-side execution through WebAssembly. With Blazor, developers can create rich, responsive, and dynamic web applications without the need for JavaScript. This makes it easier to develop and maintain web applications, as the entire application logic can be written in a single language. Blazor is gaining popularity among developers due to its productivity, performance, and the ability to create modern web applications using familiar tools and frameworks. Understanding Blazor Blazor is a web framework developed by Microsoft that allows developers to build interactive web applications using C Sharp and DoorNet. With Blazor, developers can create rich, single-page applications that run entirely in the browser without the need for JavaScript. This is made possible through a combination of WebAssembly, a low-level bytecode that can be executed by modern web browsers, and the Razor syntax, which enables server-side rendering and component-based architecture. Blazor provides a familiar and productive environment for C-sharp developers, leveraging their existing skills and knowledge of the .NET ecosystem. By enabling full-stack development with C-sharp, Blazor offers a unified approach to web development allowing developers to write both the client-side and server-side code in the same language. This simplifies the development process, improves code sharing and maintainability, and reduces the learning curve for building modern web applications. Prerequisites for becoming a Blazor developer To become a Blazor developer, there are a few prerequisites that can help you get started on the right path. Firstly, having a solid understanding of C-sharp programming language is crucial since Blazor relies heavily on C-sharp for application development. Familiarity with .NET framework and its concepts, such as classes, inheritance, and object-oriented programming, is also beneficial. Additionally, knowledge of web development fundamentals, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, can be advantageous as it provides a broader context for building web applications with Blazor. Understanding the basics of Razor syntax, which is used for rendering components in Blazor, is essential. Furthermore, having experience with Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, popular integrated development environments for .NET development, can streamline the development process. Overall, a strong foundation in C Sharp, Familiarity with web development technologies and proficiency in IDEs are key prerequisites for becoming a Blazor developer. Learning C Sharp and .NET Framework Learning C Sharp and the .NET Framework is an excellent choice for aspiring developers. C Sharp is a powerful and versatile programming language developed by Microsoft, known for its simplicity, readability, and robustness. It is widely used for developing a wide range of applications, including desktop, web, and mobile applications. The .NET framework, on the other hand, is a comprehensive platform that provides a rich set of libraries, tools, and runtime environments for building and running applications. To start learning C Sharp in the .NET framework, it's beneficial to have a basic understanding of programming concepts and logic. Resources such as online tutorials, documentation, and books can guide beginners through the fundamentals of C-sharp syntax, data types, control structures, and object-oriented programming principles. As proficiency grows, exploring more advanced topics like link, asynchronous programming, and dependency injection can enhance one's skills. Additionally, hands-on practice through coding exercises and small projects can solidify the understanding of concepts and help apply them in real-world scenarios. With the ever-growing popularity of C-sharp, and the extensive support of the .NET ecosystem, mastering these technologies can open doors to a wide range of exciting career opportunities in software development. Exploring Blazor Components Blazor components are a fundamental aspect of the Blazor framework, 
and exploring them is key to understanding and building rich web applications. Components in Blazor are self-contained units of functionality that can be reused throughout an application. They encapsulate both the UI and the behavior of a specific part of the application, making it easier to manage and maintain code. Exploring Blazor components involves understanding the Razor syntax, which is used to define the structure and layout of the component. By utilizing familiar HTML and CSS concepts, developers can easily create interactive and visually appealing user interfaces. Additionally, Blazor components support event handling, allowing developers to respond to user interactions and trigger actions within the application. With components, developers can build complex UI structures by nesting components within each other, promoting reusability and modular design. Exploring Blazor components also involves leveraging data binding, which enables synchronization between the component state and the UI elements. This allows for dynamic updates and a responsive user experience. Overall, diving into Blazor components empowers developers to create flexible, modular, and interactive web applications with ease. Building UI with Razor Syntax Building UI with Razor Syntax is a core aspect of developing applications with frameworks like Blazor. Razor Syntax provides a concise and intuitive way to define the structure and layout of user interfaces. It combines HTML markup with C-sharp code, allowing developers to seamlessly integrate server-side logic into the UI. With Razor Syntax, developers can easily generate dynamic content, render data from models, and execute conditional statements directly within the HTML markup. This powerful combination enables the creation of interactive and responsive user interfaces. Additionally, Razor Syntax supports the use of expressions, loops, and partial views, providing further flexibility in UI development. The syntax is designed to be readable and easy to understand promoting code maintainability and collaboration among developers. By leveraging Razor Syntax, developers can efficiently build UI components, handle user input, and dynamically display data, resulting in a seamless and engaging user experience. Working with data binding, working with data binding in Blazor is a crucial aspect of building dynamic and responsive web applications. Data binding allows for seamless synchronization between the application's data and the UI ensuring that any changes to the data are automatically reflected in the user interface. Blazor offers various ways to implement data binding, including one-way binding, two-way binding, and event binding. One-way binding enables the display of data from the application's model to the UI, ensuring that any updates to the model are reflected in the UI. Two-way binding goes a step further by allowing changes in the UI to propagate back to the model, keeping both in sync. Event binding, on the other hand, allows developers to handle user interactions and trigger actions in response to events such as button clicks or input changes. Blazor's data binding capabilities simplify the development process by reducing the need for manual DOM manipulation and enabling developers to focus on the application's functionality. By leveraging data binding, developers can create dynamic and interactive web applications that respond to user input and update data seamlessly enhancing the overall user experience. Managing state in Blazor Managing state in Blazor is a critical aspect of building robust and responsive web applications. State refers to the data that determines the behavior and appearance of the application. Blazor provides several mechanisms to manage state efficiently. One approach is to use component-level state, where each component manages its own state independently. This ensures encapsulation and reusability of components. Blazor also supports the concept of cascading values and parameters, allowing data to be passed down the component hierarchy. This simplifies communication between parent and child components, enabling them to share state information. Additionally, Blazor provides a centralized approach to state management through services such as dependency injection. With services, developers can create shared instances that store and manage application-wide state. This promotes consistency and simplifies the coordination of state across multiple components. Furthermore, Blazor integrates seamlessly with popular state management libraries like Fluxer and Blazor State, offering more advanced options for managing complex application state. By effectively managing state in Blazor, developers can ensure data integrity, improve performance, and create responsive user interfaces that reflect the application's current state accurately. Navigating and routing in Blazor 
navigating and routing in Blazor are crucial for creating multi-page web applications with seamless navigation between different views. Blazor provides a built-in routing system that allows developers to define routes and map them to specific components. This enables users to navigate to different pages or views based on the defined routes. The routing system supports both client-side and server-side navigation. Client-side navigation uses JavaScript to update the browser's URL and render the appropriate component without making a round trip to the server-side navigation, on the other hand, involves making a request to the server to retrieve the appropriate component based on the requested URL. Blazor's routing system supports both static and dynamic routes, enabling developers to create flexible and dynamic navigation experiences. Additionally, Blazor provides features like route parameters, query strings, and route constraints, allowing for more complex and customized routing scenarios. Navigation in Blazor can be achieved through standard hyperlinks, programmatic navigation using code, or navigation controls provided by the framework. By effectively leveraging the navigation and routing capabilities in Blazor, developers can create intuitive and user-friendly web applications that offer seamless navigation between different views and pages. Integrating JavaScript with Blazor Integrating JavaScript with Blazor allows developers to leverage the vast ecosystem of JavaScript libraries, frameworks, and APIs within their Blazor applications. While Blazor provides a rich set of capabilities with its C-sharp and .NET-based ecosystem, there may be situations where JavaScript functionality is needed or preferred. Blazor offers seamless interoperability with JavaScript through a feature called JavaScript Interop. This feature enables developers to invoke JavaScript functions and work with JavaScript objects from their Blazor components. They can call JavaScript code directly or receive callbacks from JavaScript functions, enabling a bidirectional communication channel between Blazor and JavaScript. This integration is achieved using a combination of attributes, method calls, and JavaScript functions registered in the Blazor application. By integrating JavaScript, developers can take advantage of existing JavaScript libraries, interact with browser APIs, or access platform-specific functionality not yet available in Blazor. This flexibility allows developers to harness the best of both worlds, combining the productivity and type safety of C-sharp with the vast ecosystem and versatility of JavaScript, thus empowering them to build powerful and feature-rich web applications using Blazor. Debugging and testing Blazor applications Debugging and testing are crucial aspects of developing Blazor applications to ensure their functionality, reliability, and performance. Blazor provides robust tools and techniques for debugging and testing, making the development process more efficient and effective. When it comes to debugging, developers can leverage the debugging capabilities of integrated development environments like Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. These IDEs offer features such as breakpoints, stepping through code, and inspecting variables, allowing developers to identify and resolve issues in their Blazor applications. In addition, Blazor supports browser-based debugging, enabling developers to debug client-side code directly within the browser's developer tools. This facilitates the identification and resolution of issues specific to client-side execution. As for testing, Blazor applications can be tested using various approaches. Unit testing frameworks like Nunit or Zunit can be used to write and execute unit tests for individual components or services. Integration testing can be performed to verify the interactions between different components and test the application as a whole. Blazor's testability is enhanced by its component-based architecture, which promotes modular and isolated testing. Furthermore, Blazor offers a testing library called Bunnit, specifically designed for testing Blazor components. Bunnit provides a fluent and intuitive API for writing comprehensive tests, including rendering components, simulating user interactions, and verifying expected outcomes. By employing a combination of debugging tools and testing methodologies, developers can ensure the quality and reliability of their Blazor applications, leading to a smoother and more satisfying user experience. Optimizing performance in Blazor Optimizing performance in Blazor is crucial to ensure fast, responsive, and efficient web applications. 
There are several strategies and techniques that developers can employ to enhance the performance of their Blazor applications. Firstly, reducing the size of the application's payload is essential. This can be achieved by minimizing the use of external libraries and only including the necessary components and dependencies. Employing techniques like code splitting and lazy loading can further optimize the initial load time by loading only the required components and resources. Catching can also be utilized to store and reuse frequently accessed data, reducing the need for repeated network requests. Another important aspect of performance optimization is minimizing unnecessary render cycles. Blazor's virtual DOM diffing algorithm ensures that only the necessary changes are applied to the UI. By using Shield Componentate or implementing the iComponents that interface, Developers can control when components should be re-rendered, avoiding unnecessary rendering and improving performance. Additionally, optimizing data retrieval and handling can significantly impact performance. Employing techniques like pagination, data filtering, and asynchronous loading can improve the responsiveness and efficiency of data operations. It is also essential to profile and analyze the performance of the application using tools like browser developer tools or specialized profiling tools. These tools can help identify performance bottlenecks and areas for improvement. By employing these strategies and continually monitoring performance, developers can optimize the speed, responsiveness, and overall efficiency of their Blazor applications, resulting in a better user experience. Deploying Blazor Applications Deploying Blazor applications involves the process of making the developed web application available and accessible to users. Blazor supports various deployment options to cater to different hosting environments and requirements. One common method is to deploy Blazor applications as self-contained deployments, which include all the necessary runtime components and dependencies. This allows the application to run independently on the target server without requiring the installation of additional runtime components. Another option is deploying as framework-dependent deployments, which rely on the presence of the .NET runtime on the target server. This option can result in a smaller deployment size as it leverages the existing runtime. When it comes to hosting environments, Blazor applications can be deployed to a wide range of platforms, including traditional web servers, cloud platforms like Azure, or containerized environments such as Docker. The deployment process typically involves building the application, publishing it to a specific target directory, configuring the necessary server settings, and ensuring proper security measures are in place. Continuous integration and deployment pipelines can also be utilized to automate the deployment process and streamline the release cycle. Additionally, proper configuration of server routing and URL rewriting may be required to ensure the application's routes and endpoints function correctly in the target hosting environment. Overall, deploying Blazor applications involves selecting the appropriate deployment model, preparing the application for deployment, configuring the hosting environment, and ensuring a smooth and secure release of the application to the intended audience. Keeping up with the latest trends and updates, Keeping up with the latest trends and updates is essential for developers to stay relevant and ensure their skills remain up to date. In the rapidly evolving field of technology, new frameworks, libraries, and programming languages are constantly emerging, alongside updates and enhancements to existing ones. To stay current, developers can engage in continuous learning through various channels. This includes following reputable technology blogs, participating in online developer communities, attending conferences, and subscribing to newsletters and podcasts that focus on the latest industry trends. Additionally, leveraging online learning platforms, tutorials, and video courses can provide structured learning experiences. It is also beneficial to explore and experiment with new technologies through side projects or by contributing to open source projects. By keeping up with the latest trends and updates, developers can stay ahead of the curve, adapt to changing demands, and make informed decisions when it comes to selecting the best tools and technologies for their projects. Continuous learning is a key factor in maintaining professional growth and ensuring long-term success in the fast-paced world of technology. Conclusion, congratulations, you've now learned the key steps to become a .NET Blazor developer in 2023. By following this comprehensive guide, you've acquired the essential skills and knowledge required to build modern and interactive web applications using .NET Blazor. Remember, practice and hands-on experience are essential for mastering any technology, so keep building, exploring, and pushing the boundaries of what you can achieve with Blazor.